sometimes all you need is some really good steak and fries today we are making two very simple dishes that i love i think the exciting part of all of this is i get to use the method of cooking that i love which is grilling look at that we just took the cover off the grill the weather is getting beautiful it's summertime which means lots of grilling let's get into it hello everybody and welcome back today we are making homemade salad with some steak and some steak and french fries you get to pick your choice you get to pick your choice now um if you had to get this at a restaurant you will be paying a foot and a leg but listen we're going to save ourselves some money and make it at home and trust me you will not be able to tell the difference i'm going to get started by uh, peeling my potatoes these are very well washed um, you can cook it with the skin on but i like the skin off so i'm going to take all of the skin off um in the meantime i have my grill going so at some point i am going to stop season up my steak and throw it on the grill um, and then we'll keep going with the french fries you will notice on my table i have a bowl with some water and ice in it um, this is a method that I had learned a couple of years ago on one of my cooking shows that I love to watch. Um, this helps crisp up the french fries. So the outer part of your french fries is not going to be soft. I'm going to turn to my steak uh, because I want to just season it up and throw it on the grill so we can get it going. This is a steak that I got from Costco. Um, you can get it from anywhere, whichever store works best for you. Uh, but I like to buy bulk, so I get it from Costco. For me personally, steak tastes better when it's fresh. So I'm not going to grill all of my pieces. I'm just going to grill two of them since it's for my husband and I. Um, before I throw on the seasoning, I'm going to pat it down with a paper towel. This will allow for the seasoning to stay on it. Um, also, when it comes to steak, you don't need a lot of seasoning. Um, salt and pepper does the job, and that's all you need. You salt it up on both sides, um, add your pepper, and you should be good to go trust me it's as simple as that you do not need anything more than that in my opinion and just make sure you wash your hands please because you don't want to contaminate your your bottles as you touch the meat so in between i washed my hands you just didn't see that okay <laughs> In addition to that, I will add a little bit of oil on both sides because I do not want it to stick to my grill. And that's pretty much it. We will throw this on the grill and keep going with our potatoes. Okay, I am back inside. The meat is grilling. Um, the potatoes is all cut up at this point. I've washed, I've given it a really good wash and I'm going to throw it back into my iced water. Um, if you're just tuning in, the reason I do this is to help crisp up the french fries when I do fry it. I learned this on one of the cooking shows that I watch and it absolutely works. Let's get started on our lettuce. Um, you will notice that my shirt is all wet. 
completely ignore it. I threw a glass of water on myself. And so, yeah, there we have it. Um, my chopping board is washed and I'm going to work on this lettuce. I'm just going to separate my leaves out, give it a good wash and uh, chop it up. You can also um, just rip it apart with your hand if that works best for you. You can still see my potatoes are sitting in the water. Again, really try it. It does the trick. Once you fry it up, it's going to be crunchy on the outside, soft in the inside. Oh my goodness, you are going to be in heaven when you have this dish. And please send me pictures when you do try it. I would love to see how it turns out for you. My lettuce is all washed. I made sure to wash this with some salt. Yes. If you don't have vinegar, use salt. I mean, it's one of the best ways to um, clean your vegetables and one of the cheapest ways, of course, because salt is, what, 90 cents per bottle? Very cheap. Um, I salt up that water um, each time I wash my vegetables because I don't want... You know, you have insect walking and playing and singing in these vegetables. And no, I don't want them in my mouth. Mm -mm, no. Um, so the salt helps, you know, get rid of any, um, any particles that you don't want on your vegetables. Let's just put it that way. Now that our lettuce is all cleaned up, I am going to cut it up into the sizes that I prefer. Again, you can just use your hands to rip it apart, um, whatever works best for you, but it's all in the detail. Just look at that plate of greens. It looks amazing. I just checked it on our steak and boy, oh boy, it is looking amazing. It's almost done, which means it is time to fry our french fries. I like it to be hot and crunchy and fresh. Uh, make sure your oil is really hot before you throw in your potatoes because you do not want it to be soggy. You've done all this work by putting it in the ice bathing water to make it crunchy. So don't pour it into an oil that's not really hot because then you're going to lose that texture. like my french fries golden brown um just look at that color on it it's perfect i like to use a paper towel to drain the excess oil in anything i fry one it helps drain the oil and two it keeps your food from uh, getting too saggy Now it is time for the moment of truth. 
Uh, you should smell what I smell. It smells absolutely amazing. Um, oh my God, look at that piece of meat. Yeah. You come on back inside with me and we'll cut this up and we'll set up our uh, platters. I grill my meat um, well done. I do not like to see any kind of blood in my meat. It, it scares me. Listen, it's preference, preference, preference. Let's cut up our meat and just, yeah, let's eat. Look at that meat. It is juicy. It is soft. Yeah, I'm just ready to eat. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to eat. These are two very simple dishes that I made in less than 40 minutes. You can whip this up for the family. They will absolutely appreciate it. Um, definitely try it out and let me know how it goes thank you so much for joining me today on another video uh, you guys are amazing amazing um a couple of days ago i made a hundred subscribers and i'm absolutely shocked i'm excited i'm happy i'm thankful for the support that you've all shown and i really hope that you keep coming back for more recipes and be sure to try it out okay please be sure to subscribe like comment and share and help grow this community and yes nia saying hi we can never have a video without her until next time be kind and listen listen to one another because it makes a whole lot of difference you be safe out there